Hey, we're live. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome into the app Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo. And with me today is a very special guest, Robert. Hello, everybody. <laughs> uh, if you are here because you followed Robert and you don't know who I am, my name is Star. I do um, reselling and YouTube full time, as well as Keith, who's my life and business partner. We both do this full time, it is our only job. And we sell on a lot of different platforms. We do affiliate links and social media. Um, we've just built ourselves a nice little business. And I specialize in jeans and plush. And I am known as the plushy queen. And my counterpart over there is the plushy king. And so if you're here because of me and you don't know who Robert is, I'll have him tell a little bit about himself. I have an annoying cat today. <laughs> that won't go away. <laughs> Hey, I'm Robert. Um, I specialize mostly in collectibles and plush. Probably have about, I don't know, 2,600 listings just in plush alone. And collectibles have been selling great this Christmas. Like, they're crazy right now. Yeah. I always, yeah, I have my own YouTube channel. Join me at Zombie Bargain Hunter. And I open boxes all the time. And I do a What's Sold video every week. So, Yep. So he specializes in plush as well. So we are the... Um, we're like from Oz. I'm the plushy queen of the East and he's the plushy king of the West. Hopefully he never squishes me with the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, the wind's outside today. I'm going to get squished with the house. <laughs> um, I'm going to say hi to some folks in the chat. Robert lives in the boonies, so his chat is off. So if you have a question for him, I will read it to him and he can answer. Um, John is here. I'll try to put that on my phone. And Amelia, welcome in. Christy, welcome in. Uh, Noman the Frogger here. That's Bill and David there with the Blue Wrench, two of my good friends. Ready, steady, I already said ready, steady, sales, did I? Well, hi. Um, Christy, Lindy, Lin Lindsay, geez, my eyes. Hi, Deanna's here, Resale Rejects, and Chris, hi, welcome in. Um, so before we begin, I have a... Um, I have a thing that I have to tell you. <laughs> I am an idiot. So um, apparently if you don't keep up with your accounting and your books and you only do it once a year on April 14th, <laughs> things can happen. So we, um, as you guys know, we do order a lot of wholesale and we have all of that shipped to a separate address where we have some storage available for us. But things that I order specifically to open on the channel, I have shipped to our post office so that I can get it to the house quicker to open for you guys. So I had ordered four, four boxes. I had ordered two from ThreadUp and two from um, Goodwill Blue Box, two plush boxes. And Thanksgiving week, all four boxes came in on the same day to the post office. Two were plain brown. And two were the traditional thread up boxes most of you are familiar with. They're brown with the big blue polka dots. So my natural assumption was, oh, hey, look, I ordered four boxes. There's four boxes here. Two of these are clearly thread up. Two are plain brown. They look just like the ones I've seen Robert open on his channel. These must be my plush. We put all four of the boxes in the car, and there they stayed because Thanksgiving <laughs> happened. And a bunch of stuff is going on here. We finally brought the boxes in this morning and <laughs> Keith was going to pre-open them for me as usual. And um, all four boxes are denim. Apparently thread up split my orders into four boxes. I ordered two 50 pounds. So they put four boxes. I don't know why two were playing. Blue. So now we're in a position where where the hell's my plush. Um, so I went back through. <laughs> Robert, don't laugh at me because we do not keep up with our books. Um, apparently, I ordered them on the 6th of November and on the 16th of November, 10 days later, Goodwill refunded our money. They didn't have a reason with the refund. There was no indication on it other than just refund sent. So 10 days later, they sent us our money back and they didn't send an email, nothing. So we were not notified that they canceled our order. And I made an ass out of myself and everyone else when I assumed, like you guys know, that's the saying, oh, there's two plain brown boxes, must be plush. Let me just leave them in the car for two weeks. And then the, like an hour before I'm supposed to go live with Robert, 
It would be hilarious if my box wasn't plush, too. <laughs> so I have four boxes of denim. Yay. Um, so what I'm going to do, because y'all are here for plush. Y'all ain't here for denim. Y'all are here for plush. Robert has mystery boxes. The reason mine were canceled are probably because Robert ordered 12. <laughs> probably. <laughs> he ordered 12 and got his. Um, but I did tell you guys, I know I mentioned this. I bought David and Bill's entire plush inventory, or at least most of it from them. They are moving forward, um, kind of transitioning to just selling jeans and shoes. So I bought their plush from them, all of it. So I have a bunch. Um, they tried to give it to me for free because they're my friends and I wasn't having it. So I did pay like 60 bucks for about 100 plush and a dozen shirts and sweaters they, they brought for Keith. For Keith. Um, they threw those in extra, but I gave them extra money. Um, so there's no manifest. I don't even know what's in here. I just was like, they're my friends. Just send it. I'll buy it. So it's kind of a mystery to me. <laughs> Yay. So I have, plush. I have plush to show you that I haven't seen. These have been sitting in my foyer for a month or whatever. So clearly I have too much inventory. But I don't know if that's really a thing in 2020. Because we could have another shutdown. It could snow. Um, I just yeah, have... My poor house is full of inventory. <laughs> and I have like 10 boxes still coming in from different areas. It's crazy. Yeah, we just... Up. We got so much stuff. Um, we have so much stuff that we have in a second address that stuff's being sent to for storage. So, <laughs> um, And stuff sits in my car for weeks at a time before I bring it in. Because we bring it to... We filled the eBay room to capacity with inventory and we work through it and it goes upstairs to the third floor where it's stored. As the eBay room empties out, we bring stuff up from the first floor, from the foyer into the eBay room, which is on the second floor. And then from the car and from our third location, we can bring it more into the foyer. So we have like a nice system, but kind of an airhead and we don't do our books and so um, I'm an idiot, and I still have plush. That's the plush. So we're still going to do this today with Robert, and then tomorrow, same time, 4.30, we're going to go live together again, only on his channel, and he'll have another mystery box, and I'll have another box of Bill and Dave plush. <laughs> You'll have a semi-mystery box. <laughs> yes, at least I have stuff. So... We're going to have Robert go first and we'll just go back and forth until he's emptied out a box. And then we've both equally shown it the same amount of plush. And we'll do that tomorrow too. Does the cat count as a plush? It's, it's very annoying today. <laughs> no, she's it not. Won't me. It won't leave me today. Look at this thing. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. It will not leave. <laughs> if you see my camera moving, that's the cat running back and forth. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> Hi, right, you ready? <laughs> yes. And no, I won't have to worry about snow next winter. Oh, nice start. <gasps> Feel better soon, Mickey. Oh, it has like a skeleton of Goofy or an X-ray of Goofy on it. <laughs> I've never seen this guy. It says "Feel better soon." Has the scrubs. Nice timing. <laughs> He's really cool. Let's see what he is. Uh, I don't see the tag anywhere. Oh, there it is. From the Disney store. Nice. I'll probably stick him up for like 40 bucks. I think he's a good $40 plush. 50. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to um, start with a big one. Holy cow. <laughs> now, this brand is just okay, depending on what you can find in this brand. Um, this brand does a lot of Care Bears, too. Skelly Toy? Well, oh, yeah. I have no depth of perception. There you go. I have so much Kelly Toy. <laughs> yeah, but they sell. But this is really large, and so the large plush are good, and um, unicorns are great. Any of those mystical characters like dragons, 
unicorns and it's pink and i sell a lot of unicorns especially like the pink ones oh yeah and the best thing even though this is ginormous you can see i'm gonna be able to really squish it so it'll yeah just roll them up i tuck his head yep. into his body and just roll him up to a big ball so that is a kelly toy unicorn <laughs> What do you have next, Robert? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I have a. Oh, you're really going to put the cat back over with that. No, it's called Jingle Bell. It's actually its name. <laughs> Aww. It's made exclusive or expressively for Emporium. I don't know what that is. You know an Emporium store? No. I thought that was a fancy word for stories yeah. back in the 20s. <laughs> I've been selling a lot of Christmas plush. And they've been going for like 30 bucks each. So hopefully. I mean, this isn't. I think his internet froze. So I'm going to go on with my next one. And hopefully his internet will work itself out um, before I'm done. This is a um, brand that you guys will find in claw machines a lot of the times. All right. I'm uh, he's froze okay. again. Um, this is a claw machine brand. But I've, I've had ones that are sugar loaf that do well. And they have like... Isn't Sugarloaf the one that has the babies with the hard faces that are dressed up? All right. <laughs> I think I'm back. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Okay. So, Sugar. I told you the wind is bad over here. Is Sugarloaf the one that has the baby dolls dressed up? Uh, Sugarloaf is with Kelly Toy. They're basically the same brand. Okay. This is a Kelly Toys Sugar Loaf, basically the same thing. This is just a bear. You might even have a Kelly Toy tag on him. Just a bear. He does. I learned something today. I've never seen a Kelly Toy on a Sugar Loaf. I just always had the Sugar Loaf. But he's cool. Oh, yeah. All Sugar right. Loaf. I think in the end, Sugar Loaf and Kelly Toy are basically the same thing. And what did I get? Is that Black Panther? <laughs> Ugly looking one. Not the prettiest Black Panther I've ever seen, but I think it's Black Panther. Oh, yeah, it is. It says right there. That's going to be worth some money. Yeah, the movie's just coming out, the second one. Yeah, well, and the actor passed away. Yeah, that's t true. I wonder what they're going to do with the movie. I, I think they might be bringing the sister in. Oh, okay. Hi, Joy. Welcome in. Over there. So I have a flip a zoo. Hey, oh, I love those things. I do too. And they come in all sizes. This is one of the larger ones. Yeah. They come the wee little ones. These are cool. They sell fast. People really like these. Um, yeah, that's the wolf and the bear. Yep. Here's the wolf. So if you've ever seen a flip, I've seen a few. <laughs> you have an animal, and then you peel it back over like this, and it'll be a different animal. And they have yeah. The best one is the dragon and the unicorn. Yeah. Yes. Because dragons and unicorns sell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, what's next? Ooh. I got a St. Bernard rescue dog. That is so cool. From Brooklyn Doll. I don't know what that is. But he has a tag. Pick He's a pet. Cute. They used to carry whiskey in those those things to warm the people up they found in the snow. 
Yeah. Got his little thingy. <laughs> his little cat. What's next? I have Woody. Ooh. A big one. He's probably about a foot. Yeah, I just sold two Woody. I can't keep Woody's. Anytime my list of Woody, it's gone in a couple weeks. They sell so fast. And the smaller ones, I'll sell for like 12 to 15. Um, this one on my list for like 20. He's official Toy Story. And seeing if he has anything else on his tags. He's pretty cool looking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had I had about a hundred different Woody sets with Buzz, so I had a bunch. <laughs> I have I a dollar him. unicorn. We can hear you, but I don't think we can see you. Oh, there we go. We can see you. Your unicorn. Sticker on it. Yeah, I keep freezing. My internet's not great right now because of the wind. It's from a Topatech. A Topatech? I whatever. It's a unicorn. I'll probably just take this off. <laughs> <laughs> there, now now he's a regular unicorn. <laughs> what a big hey, horn. <laughs> Welcome in Georgia. All right, I have sold a couple of these. I found the ones before at the Goodwill here, and I picked them up because they were 50 cents a piece, and I was curious, and I brought them home. It's BJ, BJ Toys. Toys. Yep, and they're they're local here to Pennsylvania. Oh, that's where they come from. I have no idea. Yeah, they're local here. So this is like the third or fourth one I've seen. They usually have... Um, Really nice animals. They're not realistic. They're more cartoony like this, but they sell pretty fast. I had a big uh -huh. rainbow fish. Um, I don't know if they're like a really good brand or not because, like I said, they're new to me as of recently, um, but I know they're local here. He's got a cute face. Yeah, because I see them every once in a while and I never knew where they were from. Pennsylvania. Cool. Oh, I got another one of these. <laughs> Maybe I should get the shirt back. <laughs> I've got a purple one and a red and one. Red Here's one. the shirt. I guess I'll put them back and make them put them as a set. If a Tropotech is something good, who knows? It might be like a local company. Like they gave them to employees or something. Yeah. Or maybe uh, like a prescription medicine, like Zyrtec or something like that. Because I had a bunch yeah. of those Zyrtec gorillas. Zyrtec gorillas. Yeah, they sell pretty well too. Really? They're like big purple gorillas. Yeah. They're funny looking. <laughs> All right, another Kelly toy. Cool. This one is a love bear. And um, I'll put Valentine's Day in the title and see if I can't move Holy. them before February. Perfect timing. <laughs> Isn't it cute? That you need some Easter things. <laughs> my Easter things are all selling. My dandy bunnies and all that. Yeah, I've been selling a few Easter. I have to get them up, though, because they're, like, sitting in the corner over there. I have big old mm -hmm. bags. I just hold the whole year, and then when it gets close, I just put them all up at once. Like I did the Christmas. I put 200 Christmas items up at once. Wow. One day. What is this guy? Verific? I don't know. Verific. Kelpler? Verific. Okay. Kelplush, little giraffe. Yeah. Nothing special, but little giraffes sell pretty well. So I just yeah, sold I, one for like 16 bucks. I think giraffes are one of those animals people look for. How do you feel? There's a question. How do you feel about Wells Fargo horses? Oh, I love them. I used to sell those like crazy. They were, that was one of my first uh, things that I used to look for all the time because i used to sell them for 20 bucks i mean they've gone down in price they're probably about 18 now but they still sell very well especially really the ones with rose, the roses in their heads and the ones with the nice like shiny i guess they're muzzles or 
I don't know what they're called. The straps that go over their heads, their mouths. The bit. Oh, okay. Yeah. And There's like shiny um, silver ones. Yeah. But yeah, those sell very well. I've only ever had two, and they were like my kids. And when they got older, they grew out of them. And well, they I'm sold next to Pasadena, so that's where the Rose Parade and all that. So that's why I get so many of them. I have something that talks. Does it work? Does it work? Orange. <laughs> Can you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> so this I have is like five over here, hidden in here that I have to repair. This is a leapfrog. It's my pal Violet. I forget what the boy's name is. It's a blue one. Oh, she is so cute. <laughs> she has like a bedtime foot to play bedtime music. You can play with her all day. <laughs> all right. What else do we got? <laughs> <laughs> I want her to stop. Okay. Good luck with that. <laughs> hey, she has an off foot. I have a messed up Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Is that Donatello? The purple? Uh, yeah, Donatello's purple. What's Build a Bear? Ooh. That's cool. I just thought that's, it was ugly. <laughs> that's a double threat. Uh, yeah, it's an old builder bear too. He's got the old tag. Oh, nice. Removable shell. Oh, and the shell has a zipper in the back. Oh my gosh. He's like a wallet, a purse, or whatever. <laughs> you can put things in his shell. <laughs> they didn't do a very good job of cutting out his eyes. Look, it's all shredded. <laughs> uh, that's cool, though. Get out of here. <laughs> Apparently, there's a green version named Scout of Violet. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the one I was thinking of, the boy. All right, Boyd's Bears. I do like these. Um, I had a whole ton of bunch of these once. I went to this yard sale, and this guy had um, Boyd's Bears, Hard Rock Bears, and a bunch of Winnie the Pooh and Disney Flash. Like, his whole lawn was full. It turned out that the yard sale was for his kid's soccer team, Everybody donated to it. Oh, so there cool. were hundreds of plush, like from all the families. And I asked him what he would take for everything. He's like, I don't know. Let's count them. So he went in and got this big refrigerator box. And I ended up paying 77 bucks for like over 100. And it was just tons of these guys and Winnie the Poohs and Tiggers and Eeyores. And it was one of the best buys I've ever made. And I literally just got out of the car and walked over to the guy. I want all your plush on the lawn. What do you want for it? And, yeah, uh, boys bears are cool, especially those ones with ice cream and the Father's Day ones and the Mother's Day ones, and all those do so very well. This one is, I don't know what she is. She's just got like a little outfit. And they're they're rarely without their tags too. Even when you find them in the, like the Goodwill bins and stuff, they're rarely without the tags. Yeah, but sometimes they'll have written on them. What does that say? Oh, it's I guess it's somebody's name. Buffing Joe. Huh. Buffington. All right. I got a I got a big monster. <laughs> oh that's I have him. He's in my I don't want a pile. He's here. It's like <laughs> Henry, but an elephant. Yeah. It's from Hug Fun, so it's good brand. Really nice and squishy. Mm -hmm. And like I said, just shipping them, I just do this. <laughs> yeah, I just have a big old pile of animals. I don't want to photograph the big animals. I don't mind shipping them. It's the photography that throws me off. <laughs> Casey's in the chat, but he's not here to watch us, Robert. <laughs> he says, "Need for Keith to text me." 
<laughs> well, thanks for stopping in, Casey. <laughs> um, hey, Casey. <laughs> this is a cabbage patch. It's a smaller Ooh. one that has like the costume. I'm gonna have to clean this little face. I think awesome on a paper towel or a rag will clean him's little face up real nice. And I think he's cool. supposed to be a dinosaur, maybe. There's so and many of them. He's got a maybe a fox. Fox? It looks like a fox. See the tail? He's really cute, though. I'll clean his little face up, and um, it's hard, too. And his hands are hard. I have fun with my blush. I'll play with them. What does the fuck say? Hey, Robert, are you frozen? I think Robert's frozen. So let's talk about Cabbage Patch Kids. These are the minis, and um, like I said, he's got a hard hands and face in his old costume. So I really wouldn't put this in the wash, but like I said, I will clean it up with Awesome. And um, if Robert stays frozen much longer, you guys might actually get, yep, he dropped completely. So you might actually get a live in action. Let's clean this with awesome and see if Robert comes back. He's having a lot of really heavy winds in California, so his internet's having issues. Um, so we'll have a, a live cleaning of the, the Cabbage Patch Kit to demonstrate the awesomeness of awesome. You guys know I always preach about awesome. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing cleaner. It costs $1 at the Dollar Tree. And it can be sprayed on stains on plush or clothing. You can let it sit overnight and then run it through the washing machine and they'll come right out. It takes out blood stains, grease, wine, oil, glue, grape juice, pretty much everything. I haven't encountered anything I can't, I have seen it not been able to um, take care of coffee. So I'll, oh, he's back. Hey, Robert. Yeah. You're, you're filling the time and talking about awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. I was going to clean his face while oh. I waited for you, but um, it will clean his face. This stuff cleans everything. Oh. Still lagging a little bit, but hopefully we can get through this without me dying. I got a chubby, lubby, chubby. <laughs> oh, he's got a cute I have thing. no idea what this thing is. <laughs> it's from Fiesta. So at least it'll be easy to find when I go to list it. Got the nice glitter eyes. Yeah, the glitter eyes always add value to any of the... It's not scratched either, so that's a plus. Speaking of horses, but this is not a Wells Fargo. Ooh, that looks better. Yeah, it is better. It is. Oh, my goodness. I have I have no depth perception as it is, and when we're doing split screen, I'm like, it's Build-A-Bear. Oh. Upside oh, okay, down. yeah. There we go. <laughs> this is Build a Bear. And We're so professional. <laughs> I am a professional YouTuber. <laughs> so yeah, he's I'll probably list him for about 20. Maybe a little more if he weighs a lot. Yeah. Gotta list him more. I'll say 30. You say 30 for a ship? I'll probably do like 20 calculations. He's a big guy. He's cute. Here, I'll do mine upside down too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just got a little MetLife Snoopy. I have so many of these. I just put them in lots of like three and sell them for like 20 bucks. Yeah. I got a million tiny Snoopies. 
Oh, and Snoopy would, uh, loves me, I guess. I got lots of him. In yeah. Look who it is! Yeah, find the tiny woodstock. I just throw them in. Let's make a little set. Yep, and you can always ask more for sets. And if they're small like that, they'll still they'll still ship first class together. Cool. She is an official Disney park. Cool. Which Minnie is oversaturated, and she's not really worth that much typically. Does she have the authentic seal on her? That's the the Disney store has the seal, right? Yeah. This is the um, parks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. What else are that? Sabrina received her first. I got a smash. <laughs> smash raccoon. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's a Smash Raccoon. Is it Smash? Is he from a video game or something? I feel like I should know who he is. No, it says Bear Paw Plush, so. Um, Don't know. The brand is Fancy 2, which I've never heard of. A and A Company. I've heard of them, but never heard of Fancy 2. Is that Fancy Zoo? Is it zoo? Could be zoo. I guess it's zoo, yeah. Yeah. He's from the fancy huh. zoo. Okay. He's the fancy. He's better than a regular zoo. Oh, I just threw something on the floor. It was not nice of me to throw that on the floor. Look what that is. What is that? <laughs> it's a hippo. But I already yeah. had her out. Did you She's poke her eyes out? Why is it like, scary? <laughs> This has, she has poles in her. Like Oh, she's one of those doors, door holders or whatever they're called. The yeah, greeters? She, I think they're called greeters. She's supposed to stand and she's not gonna. Yeah, I hate to ship those. Those are a pain. Yeah. Because it doesn't. Well, really you have to keep it then. <laughs> it doesn't really bend and she's heavy. Yeah, that's why I don't like the greeters. They're a pain to ship. She's from Disney. Oh, we're over here. I don't want her, though. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not a big fan Put of... Put a baby Yoda on her head. Put a baby Yoda on her head? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we have a little panda bear. Oh, what's that in shirt? It says Pulsic. No, another drug, another drug animal. Yeah. These people are trying to get me on drugs. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Here's the thing. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> this is an Echo Snooper. Echo Snooper. Okay. It's a bag. It Why is, is her cool. eyes like bloodshot? <laughs> or like surprised eyes. Listen, it's five o'clock somewhere. Do not judge her. <laughs> <laughs> it's five somewhere, poor hippo. She's kind of cute though. She's all quarter. <laughs> She's a drug. Poor hippo. It is. <laughs> got a little graduation bear. It's got writing on it, though. So, might not be that great. I don't know if yeah. I can get that off. Does this jacket come off? I'm going to try some awesome, but I don't know if it'll come off. No, it's sewn on. No, I think it goes all the way to the... I think it's sewn into the fur. Hopefully it'll come off. If not, I mean, it's cheap. It's real small. Probably going to get like $14 for it anyhow. So. Yeah. Let the cats play with it. <laughs> Whoa. I love these big poo bears. That's a big poo. 
this is a big poo. <laughs> he does not have tags that I can see, but that, I mean, huh. he'd be worth more if he was Disney's. Wait, wait what's on his foot? Whoa. Oh, this, I think I've sold this one before. I think this is the JC Penny celebrating 80 oh, years. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, at least you'll be able to look it up real easily. Yeah, I think it's JC Penny. I think. Yeah, I'm I don't sorry. remember. I had one like that too, but it was a smaller version. I just remember that. Um, yeah. Being as big as he is, he's probably going to go up for like 40. Might as well. Might as well. I still big ones. Well. Or I'll knock them down to like 30 and do calculated shipping. No. Yeah. I got a chickpea. Oh, can't see it. Chickpea? Huh. Looks like a baby toy. The, that's the cute. way the, like, yeah, the, the it feels. feels like a baby toy. I would totally, oh, sorry, use lovey in the title. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah that's I'm not young, you to sleep. I'm not young because Robert and Plush are boring. <laughs> Um, I'm boring plush. I quit. I'm leaving. Well, I have a Cheezosaurus Rex. <laughs> cool. I have a Cheezosaurus Rex, and he opens. <laughs> He's from Kraft. He has a pocket. And Kraft Cheezosaurus Rex. I, I think it's a bag. I don't know. Maybe you could put your macaroni and cheese in there. I don't think I would want to. <laughs> I mean, in the container. Oh, you've never heard of a Cheezosaurus Rex before. I guess. I don't well, know. Am I missed a couple of commercials. <laughs> You're looking at you. Uh, <laughs> I only have one left. <laughs> All right. And it's not going to top your Cheezosaurus Rex. <laughs> I got a sugar loaf hippo. Oh, she's cute. See, there's the sugar loaf and Kelly toy. I said they're basically the same company. Right. But and it has this a gamer code. I've never seen them with a gamer code. Oh, cool. When I asked you, I don't think you heard me because you froze. The sugar loaf is the one that makes those. Something kids, their dolls and costumes. Uh, costume kids. Yeah. Yeah, they they make those. I've only ever had one. It was a devil. I swear it was your. Head. I had a bunch of them, and I haven't been able to find some since. That was my last one. Oh. All right. This is my last one then, until tomorrow. Fao Schwartz. Looks like it from here. See, I got the eye. <laughs> you tell how excited I am? <laughs> it's an FAO shorts. This is a bolo, guys. And um, I'm really super excited because it's an elephant. I feel like elephants are one of the animals that moves quicker. Yeah. I have just an elephant bin and I have a giraffe bin. And the rest elephants are, are and supported. Owls, too. Yeah. But anyway, that they'll always yeah, have the button. Yeah, I Definitely. can tell my plush from a mile away. <laughs> I go yeah, right me to too. It. Me too. Most jeans. So I'm really excited about him. <laughs> All right. Well, that was it. Does anybody have any questions for us before we go? Oh, what do we got? <laughs> any questions at all? You got the two plushy people together in one show. Before I freeze completely and get kicked off. <laughs> Anything you want. We'll be back tomorrow at the same time, only on Robert's channel. As long so, as my internet holds out. <laughs> yeah, well, if your internet can't support us, we'll have to come back over here. But Yeah, might have to. Fingers crossed, 4.30 p.m. Robert's channel. If you're a member of um, our Facebook group, I'll link it for you. <laughs> um, the Flippin' Hippos reseller pod. Then I will tomorrow be putting up a link for you guys to go see us live tomorrow. 
I'm playing with my chance doll. Um, how do you use awesome without washing it? So most times, if you're going to use awesome, you're going to be spot cleaning and you have to blot it. So you put it on and you clean it. I have a video on that too. I'm going to see if I can find it. Um, but you can um, put it on and you can blot it and just spot clean. If it's really, really, um, I'm trying to do things at once. And I'm not gonna... <laughs> if it's really bad, like if the plush is completely dirty and you want to spray it all down, then you would let it sit overnight or even longer. Mine have sat for up to a week. Then you would wash it. Yeah, throw um, the washing machine. So you could throw it in the washing machine. Uh, that's the video, the link to the video you guys can watch later, where I show you how to use it without throwing them in the washing machine. Like, if or you just drown them by hand. I do that too every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, but if it just has like a tiny spot, I use a old Tide pen. I have a trick. It's in that video. So yeah, you don't have to wash them. But a lot of times I'm using this to pre-treat. So like on clothing or plush, I just let it sit until I wash it. I use those erasers. Those erasers work good too. The magic erasers, yeah. yeah. Um, Thrifty wants you to make a video about the um, that plush cleaner you shared, the three-step process. Cool. I'll do it. You should. Eventually. <laughs> so many people ask me different videos and I'm like, oh, I'll do it. And I've never done it. <laughs> yeah, you know that one I put out last Christmas, the three part how I do the jeans, like how yeah. we've adjusted it for me. I was gonna do that for two years. Yeah. Before I finally did it. So I mean I have how to bag the plush over here. I have all the bags, they're all measured and everything else, and I still haven't done the video. <laughs> it's just sitting the bags are sitting there. Just busy. Yeah, yeah I mean <sighs> YouTube certainly, even for and, the, and I mean, he'll say it himself. Even for people like Casey, it doesn't make as much money as people think it does. No, it oh, actually. I'll say it. I make. I think it's two bucks a day. <laughs> That's it. I make a whole two bucks a day. That's my average. <laughs> I make a little more than that, but oh, you got more out, average. You cheat. <laughs> it comes out. <laughs> They, they, they base your your amount that you make is you make X amount per 1,000 views. And the amount that you make per your 1,000 views is based on a whole bunch of algorithms and things. Um, but even people with lots of viewers, it just, it's not going to pay the bills and it's not going yeah. to put it on the table. So, you know, when YouTubers are faced with, I need to list today or make a video, a lot of us will choose to list because that's where our money's at. Yeah, for sure. Um, so just remember that. I think a lot of people give us a lot of flack and a hard time sometimes. Like, oh, you're a YouTuber. And no, no you make a million dollars. I'm like, no, I wish. <laughs> no, when I'm making YouTube videos, I'm technically um, giving time to something I'm not making money on. Yeah, you're and working for free, basically. Because, I mean, if you're taking an hour out of your day to do a YouTube video, and, I mean, you in an hour you can list, like, five, six items in easily – 10 for me if yeah. it's jeans. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So just be kind. If we don't make ten dollars on each item. It's a hundred bucks right there. You're giving away and YouTube you'll make what two bucks in that time. <laughs> yeah. So, um no, I mean it's completely I think my point was it's completely understandable when you don't make videos sometimes because you have to focus on where you're making your money. And I say the same thing about the platforms. We should all be cross posting and we should all be on multiple platforms. Um, but where you want to focus most of your time is the platform that's making the most money for you. Yeah. eBay and Mercari right now are blowing up. Poshmark hates me. So. Mercari hates me. So. Yeah. <laughs> I've sold like one thing on uh, Poshmark this past like two weeks. Mercari have sold probably 50 and eBay have sold hundreds, of course, but Poshmark hates me. <laughs> I haven't sold 50 on Mercari in years. <laughs> Bonanza Mercari. loves me more than Poshmark. I've sold at least 10 things this month on Mercari, or Bonanza. Really? Yeah, wow. Poshmark hates me. Well, probably because I don't share it all. I'm too lazy. I don't care. I'm not going to be pushing those buttons. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> 
Hey, what's the product called that you use to take the scratches? Uh, here it is. I always have it right next to me. Novus. This is the number one. This is what you do. You clean it afterwards. Uh, there's a deep scratch one, which is number three. You rub that on the deep scratches and then use number two to fill it in and then you use number one to clean. It's a three-step process. You can also use like sandpaper if it's really bad. If it's like blurry, you can use like a light, uh, light grit sandpaper, get off all the blurriness, and then use these to fix it. Use the number two and then number one. All right, so my next question to you is, how much is a plush going to have to sell for for you to justify spending all the time on the eyes? Uh, depends if I just have extra time. I throw them like right here. They're like piled up here. Here, See, I have them piled right here. This one needs a, I don't know if you can see. This one needs like really, I just pile them right here. And when I get a time or when I'm tired of listing, I just do them. It doesn't matter if they're $10 plush or $20 plush. They just sit there and you get bored of doing one thing. So I have separate things to do. I have the things that make noise over here. I have these dolls. Ugh. There's a doll. It's stacked to the ceiling of the ones I had to fix. So I do things in steps. When I'm bored of taking pictures, I'll do drafts. When I'm bored of drafts, I'll do like the eyes. If I'm bored of the eyes, then I'll do, I don't know, fixing them. I go in steps. I don't want to get bored of doing it because if it's if it's a chore, I just it's just a waste of my time. Won't like doing it. Yeah, no, I agree. That's why I, um, I've been scratching my head and now my hair. Is like, <laughs> um, you can't mess with my hair. <laughs> I'll do plush for like a day and then I'll do work on jeans for a day. Um, yeah, I actually yeah. have like a day Funko, for editing. like a board of plush. I got Funko. I got video games. I mean, yeah, you can't really do the same. I mean, some people do. They have like one thing they like to list and they'll just do that thing over and over. But like you said, I would get bored. Yeah, I used to do plush every single day. How do you think I got 2,600 listings purely on plush? It was plush every day, but it was exciting because I never saw all those plush before. Now that I've seen them all, it's like, eh, I can, I'll, I'll do something else for a little while. At least I moved that hanger. Yeah, there was a hanger behind me during my live show on Tuesday, and I kept thinking my hair was like. Yeah, I was I driving was while you were doing the video yesterday and, <laughs> or I Tuesday. And I, Tuesday. I was feeling pretty fresh. Uh, 2020 is wearing on me. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm like, I'm not to the point now where I'm just telling people about like the YouTube money because. I'm tired of people being mean to me about it. I'm like, listen, yeah. I don't have money. I'm here because I like to connect with the community and teach yeah, no people. It's, it's oh. not, I mean, YouTube money is nothing. I don't even think I've gotten over. I've gotten one payout. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I make enough to maybe pay one bill a month, two bills. No, I don't even make that. I just do it to do it. And That's why I'm down to like two videos a week. I was doing three and it's just not worth my time. I mean, I was stressing over it and don't want to stress to do uh, YouTube videos. If I want to do it, I'm going to do it for fun because you don't get, you don't make money on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I do it now. I have a system, like you said, like I just, if I'm going to do videos, I'll pre-record like two or three at a time when I'm in the yeah. mood. And then I have a day for editing and then that way it's not a chore. So like I have to do one every day now. I have backup. Yeah. Yeah, I set up my lights and I get ready and usually do like two or maybe three mm -hmm. a day. I've done like two other unboxings of the blue boxes. They're already in the books. They're already done. I just got to put them up next week. Yeah, I just got to do stuff in batches. And when I'm in the mood to record, I got video, video makeup on and my hair did. <laughs> I'll do a whole bunch because when I'm going to be listing or photographing all day, I like just put my hair up in a bun and don't put makeup on because I'm grungy and I'm doing grungy yeah, stuff. Yeah, you don't want to get like ready to do a video because I'm usually in my pajamas just working on stuff and it's like, oh, do I want to do a video today? No. But when no. I want to do a video, I'll do like two or three just to get done because I don't want to like stress over it. Yep, I'm the same way. And uh, I look pretty rough on days when I'm not in front of the camera because <laughs> like i wake up and i'm like you know what i'm just gonna put my hair in a bun skip a shower and be disgusting and 
<laughs> look like cool and just work. But those are the days where I'll get like 50 pairs of jeans measured and photographed. Yeah. Or, you know, those are the days where I really bang it out. And yeah. try to take half days yeah. on Friday just to have an evening with Keith free. And you guys got to balance it all out. You got to make sure you're taking time for yourself. You got to. Yeah, I took the four day weekend, which was great, but I paid for it on Monday. <laughs> I saw. <laughs> I paid for it bad. I was shipping for like five hours straight. It was crazy. But yeah, the sales just went crazy this last weekend. I, it was like 125 I had to mail. And that was like a 5 p.m. Uh, Sunday. So I don't even know how many I mailed out. I mean, I had bins up to the ceiling. That's <laughs> My nice. poor mail carrier just came for me to fill up her truck. That's how many I had. It was, it was ridiculous. And it's just you. Yeah, that's just, just me. Like that's the last time we went to Florida and we came back, we had like a hundred, but it was like two of us. Yeah. At least you got help. I had to go upstairs, pull them all, and then uh, wrap them all, put cards in everyone, and then put them outside. They went outside at like four in the morning. I was working from like 5 p.m., ate dinner, and then till like three, four in the morning. That was. It was a long day. Wow, that's a lot. It was crazy. What do we oh, got? I don't really see any more questions coming in. So we're going to let you guys go. I'm going to go throw a meatloaf in the oven that I pre-made cool. yesterday. Cool. Being Betty Crocker. Now, I usually cook in a crock pot or do easy meals. Um, but like when I make stuff like meatloaf it's like really homemade it's pre-made so i threw it together last night so that today i knew as soon as we were done i could toss it in the oven nice and then while it's cooking i'll clean up these plush and get them ready for photos and we'll sit down and eat you guys gotta learn how to multitask like a boss <laughs> <laughs> well, i already have drafts i have this right there it's right there all that all that stuff no. i just gotta take pictures of it i have all that stuff ready yeah, if you get a shipping thing, that is a very bad mark. You want to avoid them at all costs. If you're having problems meeting uh, your shipping deadlines, then you may want to add another day onto your handling time. Yeah, that's what I did because uh, the mail carrier forgot one day to pick up, and that was like 60 items that were late. I actually called eBay, and they took care of it, but I don't want that to happen ever again. So I just leave two days on. I mean, I don't have a problem with sales, so might as well just leave two days handling on in case yeah, that happens. I mean you're shipping sooner than that. You're getting positive feedback. Oh yeah. The positive feedback is amazing. Cause Hey, we expected this, uh, like tomorrow we already got it. Thank you. Yay. I'm like, okay. <laughs> we do same day, but, um, we cut it off at 9 AM. So basically by the time we wake up, whatever, so it's already at 9 AM. <laughs> we wake up around nine, like uh, <laughs> 10, 11. I woke up an hour before the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I go to bed like at 5 a.m. That's why yeah, you see you, you one of my videos where you can see the timestamps. Some of them I'm doing at like at 2 in the morning. No, but I go to bed around 2, 3. Yeah. So I go to bed at like 4, 5, 6, depending on if I get like busy doing plush or something. Or watching YouTube or something. I was playing World of Warcraft the other day. All my work was done. Okay, for the day. I actually did extra work so I could justify playing a video game. So I had I had listed all my quota for the day, and then I prepped a bunch of drafts for the next day so that I could list extra the next day. And I did some extra photos, and I really justified it. So I got on pretty late, like around 11. Um, and it was like 4 in the morning. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, I've been playing for a long time. Yeah, my game lately is Witcher. The Witcher. Wild oh, Hunt. Yeah, I'm trying to finish that game. It takes forever, though. <laughs> Every time you think it's over, it's like, no, i got to keep doing something else. Yeah, that's why I like World of Warcraft. Though. There's like really no end. I got to the end of the campaign, like the new storyline that just dropped. With yeah. the new expansion. And um, that drives me nuts, by the way. Um, <laughs> I got to the end of that. You have to pick a, a group of people that you're going to align yourself with. And then this whole other line of quests and campaigns opens up. 
and then I could get these new pets because I, oh, I no. play hunter and I can get pets that fight with me. They have these new foxes and oh, Do they have a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a hippo that I ride. It's it's a mount. I have a big hippo that has like a caravan thing on its head, like a roof. I have a hippo that I can ride. I have two hippos that can fight, and I have like five small baby pet ones that are like the Pokemon. <laughs> Fighting <battles>. hippo. <laughs> I have like one of every hippo in the game. <laughs> anyway, of course you do. <laughs> I have all the cats, all the rats. <laughs> all right. We're going to let you guys go. Stay tuned tomorrow, same time, 4.30 p.m. on Robert's channel, his internet withstanding. Oh, we may move it here. Um, make sure you're in the Facebook group because that's where I will be updating everyone. And um, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll look at some more plush. If you think of any questions about plush in general at all, bring them with you. You've got two people here who know a lot about plush. We're experts in the field. <laughs> so ask us your questions. We'll see you guys daily. tomorrow. And thank you, Robert, for coming on and for agreeing to do this with me. And uh, hit the thumbs up, guys. Don't forget, subscribe Bye. to me. Subscribe to Robert, Zombie Bargain Hunter. And um, go be productive. Make money. Don't fiddle fart around. Don't fiddle fart around. And we'll see you next time. You guys are the best. Bye. Bye. Did you say?